What is an indifference curve? To understand indifference curve, you must first understand what utility is. There is a whole video on utility analysis on this channel. However, in short, utility is just the one satisfying power inhibited in the commodity. In other words, you can think about utility as a measure of benefit that any commodity might give you. Now things like satisfaction and utility cannot be measured cardinally. Meaning, we cannot give it numbers and say an apple gives me 10 more units of utility than a mango. But we can just say that an apple gives me more utility than a mango. In general, talking about things like utility in cardinal terms doesn't make sense. However, for the sake of understanding indifference curve, we will assume that we can give cardinal measurement to utility. Okay, let's start. Say one day, you go to a supermarket with rupee 100 to buy apples and mangoes. Apples cost rupees 10, whereas mangoes cost rupees 5. Ideally, you buy fruits that give you at least 200 units of utility with rupee 100. And this is what you wish to do now as well. Now, you know that one apple gives you 20 units of utility and one mango gives you 10 units of utility. So, if you buy 5 apples and 10 mangoes, you will end up having 200 units of utility. You have spent rupees 100 and gained 200 units of utility. That's great. But wait a minute. What if you go to the market and find out that there are only 4 apples left? Well, not to worry you say. I can buy 4 apples and 12 mangoes. This way again, I'll be spending my rupee 100 and gaining 200 units of utility. I can have many combinations like this. I can buy 6 apples and 8 mangoes and still gain 200 units of utility. No pun intended, but if you join these points, you'll see the point. An indifference curve is nothing but a locus of all points that keeps you on the same level of utility by letting you substitute between the two commodities. An indifference curve helps to understand consumer preferences. In general, it helps to study what actions a consumer might take so that he doesn't have to lose any utility that he derives from spending his money. One thing that I don't want you all to forget is that utility has an ordinal measurement. We just try to simplify our understanding by giving utility numbers. As you saw, utility is a concept that helps you understand consumer behavior. Can you name a curve that is similar to the indifference curve in the producer space? Do mention it in the comment section. And as usual, do like, comment, share and subscribe. If you think this video might be helpful to your friends or students, do share it with them. Until then, adios. Hasta la vista.